Hold on to your butts. Hey all, Bill, the Hall of Fame collector here. And I kid you not, I did not see the light of day for about four or five days, man. I was sick as a dog for uh, uh, all last week. Uh, hospital two times, a doctor another time. Um, everything checks out normal. I don't know what my problem is. I don't know if I just have some kind of virus, not corona, um, but uh, I don't know what it was. Anxiety, I, do, I don't know. I'm gonna have a lot, of, lot more testing over the next few weeks to kind of troubleshoot. I hope I don't feel that bad again. Um, so I missed out on some videos, got to play catch up, but I missed Mike, baseball collectors, uh, an opportunity to uh, enter his contest, but I do want to shout him out. Of course, Mike and I go way back and, um, congrats to you, Mike, 5,000 subscribers. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's a very healthy number. Um, and, uh, you know, here's to 10,000 and, uh, inspiration, you know, why am I here on YouTube? I'll just mention that really quick because it is just a weird coincidence uh, because this YouTuber is now back and that is Thundering24. Um, just randomly going on YouTube, looking at collections, things like that. I came across Chad Thundering24's Griffey collection and he would just show Griffey cards, Griffey cards, Griffey cards, amazing stuff. And um, he, he just started posting again. He came out of nowhere and uh, really was the inspiration for me to start, uh, along with another video, Basketball Hall of Fame Autograph Collection video. Um, it's like a binder. If you just Google Basketball Hall of Fame Autograph Collection, it's like a binder, and the guy's just going through Hall of Famers and autographs, and it's just like, that, that was the inspiration. I said, I gotta do the same thing. So that's kind of how it started. Anyways, Basketball Hall of Fame. So uh, they announced 13 new people for the Basketball Hall of Fame. And these are three of the 13 that I had already had in my collection. Swin Cash, Manu Ginobili, and Tim Hardaway. Um, I'll spare you all the other names, although George Carl is somebody I should have had. I've been outbid a few times. I just know he's cheap and he didn't want to spend the money. Uh, but I did manage, as soon as I heard uh, who got in, I did manage to snag this one. Uh, Lou Hudson, uh, on card, tops, autograph. Um, he has, he passed away. So, um, you know, you're not going to get, I think this is maybe one of his few tops cards, uh, on card autograph. So I, I, I had to get it. Um, it's a great, uh, addition to the basketball hall of fame autograph collection. Okay. Since I mentioned Mike baseball collector, you know, he's a uh, Rangers fan, right? Uh, I feel bad for this guy, but I did manage to get, uh, two, uh, more cards for sets that I'm collecting. Uh, this first one here um, is one of the last for 2015 that I need. I think Harper's the last one I really need. Uh, is uh, this Rafi Palmero on card, five star, uh, rainbow uh, parallel. Uh, these are the only ones I'm collecting the rainbow parallels to 25. This is number one of 25. Beautiful uh, Palmero, one of the few players with 3,000 hits and 500 home runs. And then this gorgeous one, man. I've been outbid on this one, I don't know, 10 times before I finally landed one. And that is from 99 SP Signature Edition, Nolan Ryan. And it's just a combination of a beautiful autograph and a really cool picture of him at some kind of ceremony. Um, just a beautiful card. And uh, just, just gets me closer to completing that set. Uh, so there you go, Mike. All right, now I take you to, to an awesome grab from a fellow uh, YouTuber, um, Eric Classic Cards. Um, now, of course, I love 90s cards, and uh, Eric does an awesome job um, buying boxes of cards and breaking them. Um, he loves going back to some of these 90s sets, some of these things I've never opened. So I love watching uh, and seeing the packs and the cards and the, you know how things are collated and this and that. And so he had a Pacific week and he went through some product and had a stellar, stellar uh, box break of 2099 Revolution. And um, 
amazing cards pulled in this box. It's really, these are really, I mean, look at this. And to pull a thorn in the side die cut. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Corey, I was just talking about if you had any of these parallels. These are, this is one of the parallels that uh, people have listed for, you know, a decent amount. Shadow Series, Cal Ripken Jr. How about that? Look at that. Out of 99, 10. Oh, don't tell anybody. Okay, and next up, we have, hey, oh, there it is. There it is. This is the one I was looking for because this is just so sweet. We already finished off strong. I mean, this, this is already blown my expectations away. Troy O'Leary, and then we got, hey, Tony, oh my God. Okay, it's official, we, we've, we've destroyed the odds. I don't think there's been a single box this week that we haven't beaten the odds by a lot. And look, oh, it's a Tony Gwynn base card. Nope, it's a Tony Gwynn premier date parallel. You see, I told you they were tough to see. You gotta look at the embossing, premier date. Oh gosh, oh god, Tony Gwynn, 33 out of 49. What the heck? And the final card, the tiered, and which should be numbered again. They don't give us the odds on the silver background ones. It looks like, is that a Mark McGuire? Oh my gosh, absolute killing the odds on this box. Blown away when your four big parallel insert cards are all big names. All should be Hall of Famers. This guy isn't, but all these three guys are. And it is the Big Mac. Boom! What about that? All right, so as soon as I saw that Gwyn pulled, man, I reached out and saw if there was some opportunity that I can get it. And he is truly awesome. Um, again, thank you for the note here. Pulling a card that collectors would love to have. You know, he knows it's in a good home, so I appreciate that. Sent me some uh, random Gwyn things also. Um, this is pretty cool too. He sent me three of these uh, Gwyn, they look like Gwyn base cards, but they're not. They're actually just uh, blank backs. These are actually, I'm, I'm assuming, um, cut out from the box. Um, Gwyn was kind of like the uh, spokesperson for Pacific, so pretty cool to see that. And then uh, sent me a couple Maddox cards as well, because of course I am a Maddox guy, right? So Team Spirit. From Pinnacle, a private stock. I saw him pull this one. Um, this is uh, like a parallel platinum parallel out of uh, 199, and then this Pacific Cup, which is uh, I think one in 721 packs, uh, hand placed into packs. Really cool. Really appreciate that, uh, Eric. But this card is unreal. This is what he pulled, and uh, we made a deal. Boom, 99 Pacific Revolution, Tony Gwynn, Premier Date. So you have that Premier Date embossed stamp uh, across the front and uh, on the back, um, 33 of 49. Just like the video, pack fresh, baby. Appreciate that, Eric. You are the man. Okay, and to finish off this video, um, I'm going to show you another card. Uh, from that 99 SP signature, another one I've been outbid plenty of times and finally landed it, getting very close to complete this one as well. Uh, Mike Piazza, 99 SP signature. Um, gorgeous card, what can I say? Um, and last, uh, again, making more progress on this set, 2005, last but not least, Carlton Fisk, the signature numbers, Beautiful blue ink, beautiful card. Uh, number two, the player's jersey number. So just 27 of these exist uh, and a one of one. Uh, but uh, yeah, no other parallels. So these are tough. Making great progress there on that. So thanks you all for watching. Um, hopefully, you know, I don't feel sick again like I did. And um, the next video, uh, you're going to have new Bill and old Bill because you're gonna have incredible 90s and you're also gonna have incredible vintage Hall of Fame autographs. 
beautiful ones. Wait and see. Until next time, take care, y'all.